Every great robotics project begins with a solid understanding of a few core electronic principles. Forget the noise. This video is your clear and concise learning path, designed to give you the absolute essentials you need to build right now. This isn't just theory. It's about transforming complex concepts into confident action starting today. Let's take a look at the foundational pillars of electronics for robotics. First up, let's demystify Ohm's law. This fundamental principle, V equals IR, voltage equals current times resistance, is the bedrock of all circuit analysis. Think of it like this. Voltage is the pressure pushing the electricity, current is the flow rate, and resistance is what slows it down. Grasping this helps you understand why some components need specific power sources and why others get hot. It's crucial for everything from powering a servo motor to lighting an LED. Next, you need to understand the different types of circuits, series and parallel. In a series circuit, components are connected end to end, so the current flows through each one sequentially. The key here is that if one component fails, the entire circuit breaks. A parallel circuit, on the other hand, connects components in a fork configuration. This means the current has multiple paths to travel. If one component fails, the others continue to work. This is why the lights in your home don't all go out if one bulb burns out. Understanding these two configurations is essential for designing circuits that are both functional and reliable. Now let's talk about the essential components you'll encounter. You'll need to know your resistors, which limit the flow of current, your capacitors, which store and release energy, and your diodes, which allow current to flow in only one direction. Most importantly, you'll need to understand transistors. Transistors are the building blocks of modern electronics. Think of them as tiny electronic switches that can either amplify a signal or switch a circuit on and off. You'll use them to control larger currents with a small voltage from your microcontroller, like a brain telling a muscle to move. The journey into robotics is also a journey into digital electronics. Here, everything is about ones and zeros, on or off, high or low. The microcontroller, such as an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi, is the brain of your robot. It reads sensor data and sends commands to motors and actuators, all using these digital signals. You'll be programming this brain to interact with the physical world. For your first projects, focus on these five core areas. Ohm's law, series and parallel circuits, basic components, transistors, and digital electronics. Putting it all together, your first projects. So, how do you apply this knowledge? Start small and build confidence. Your first project should be a simple one. Try building a simple LED circuit to practice Ohm's law and use a resistor. Then move on to a project that uses a transistor to switch on a motor with a microcontroller. This introduces you to the concept of using low power signals to control high power components. From there, you can tackle a basic line follower robot. This project combines everything we've talked about, using a microcontroller to read a sensor, digital input, and control motors, digital output, based on that input. This iterative learning approach, starting with foundational knowledge and building upon it with progressively more complex projects, is the most effective way to learn. Don't worry about memorizing every formula. Instead, focus on understanding the core concepts and the function of each component. This video is just the beginning. The real learning happens when you start building. The Robotics Electro. Learning Path, a call to action. Remember, the goal isn't just to watch this video, it's to take action. This simplified path gives you the essential electronics knowledge without the unnecessary fluff. By focusing on these core principles, you can confidently move from an aspiring enthusiast to a builder. 